and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on. For a new donation deck, we have Gruel Flame uh, right now, and um, this deck looks pretty cool. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get a lot of lands in our hand with the help of the Explore Creatures and Nissus Triumph. We get some extra lands in our hand. Whoops, and I just took a Nissus Triumph out of the deck. And then we cycle away our lands, throw them in the graveyard, draw new cards. Uh, we can also use Living Twister to discard lands as well to do damage. And then, you know, we have this Cavalier Flame out here. And it has this third ability that whenever, it's die, whenever it dies, then the opponent takes X damage. Um, and each of their Planeswalkers also, where X is the number of lands in our graveyard. So hopefully we can get a lot of lands in the graveyard here. Um, but besides that, we're just kind of like a normal green-red aggro deck. Kind of like, you know, we have a pretty good beatdown plan. Uh, you know, Cavalier Flame hits really hard. So does Cavalier of Thorns. Uh, Nissa obviously hits very hard as well. Um, so, you know, we're going to be just attacking, beating them down. Then they'll, they'll have to kill our Cavalier of Flame, and hopefully that trigger finishes them off. Uh, if we do just have, like, our extra mana, we have, like, this fight, these Fight with Fires that we can kick to do uh, 10 damage, divide it as we, as we choose. And we also have a couple of Voracious Hydras. Uh, I like this card. This is a, a, good, um, uh, a good large creature, a good uh, mana sink, um, and it's also a removal spell as well. So pretty nice one here for the deck. So yeah, we're calling this Gruel Flame uh, because it's it's based around Cavalier Flame uh, for the most part, as you see here. Like we're trying to maximize this card here. Um, so there we go. Um, yeah, Mul Multani could be okay in the deck. Yeah, Multani is a, a pretty decent option for the deck also. You see here we have a few utility lands, Arch Veraska, Blast Zone, and Field of the Dead. Um, because Nissa's Triumph, if we have Nissa in play, then you just get uh, any three land cards you want and put them into your hand. So, you know, we can go grab like these uh, extra utility lands and put them into our hand at that point. So that's pretty nice there. Um, and there, there we go. This is our deck. Uh, and let's give it a try. So let's see how, how this does. So this is a, a donation deck here. So with donation decks, we're heading on over to the traditional constructed queue. We'll play till we win five or lose two, whichever happens first. So we'll spend our thousand gold, get some gruel flame action. All right, let's see how this deck does. That's a cool, a cool uh, little deck here. Yeah, I am out of mythic wild cards. And today, with the the mastery system, I'm like all upset because um, I got a, a mythic card in like the mastery system. You know, like where you don't it doesn't tell you like what the card is, but it's like mythic card reward. Um, and so I was like, cool, because I need you know I need, could use some more mythics. So just basically any mythic in the set is is fine for me because you know I'll I'll be playing through every everything. You know that's how that's what I do. And instead, it just gave me. It just gave me 40 gems. So whatever uh, whatever mythic I earned, I guess I already had four of. It was probably one of the Planeswalkers because, like, the Red Cavalier and then, like, a Johnny Soren, Chandra, Vivian. Like, those are the cards that I have four of. So it's, it's probably just, like, one of the Planeswalkers. But it didn't switch to something else. It was disappointing. Oh, I mean, it could have been, yeah, it could have been a mythic from a different set also, because I, I do have, like, basically all the mythics from all the other sets. So that that could have been a thing. Yeah, it'll definitely be hard to turn on the, the Field of Dreams or whatever the name of that card is. Um, but the the main time we have that is hmm nope okay 
uh, whenever we use, whenever we cast, like the, the main time that we're going to be getting is whenever we cast the Nissa's Triumph and we go grab three different lands with three different names and everything. So, and you know, even if it's not uh, that difficult to, to turn, or sorry, even though it's difficult to turn on, uh, we have the Cavalier Knight of Flame that can always just pitch it and everything. So we're good to go there. Um, so do I want Nyssa to start beating him down or get this Cavalier of Thorns? It's not Flame yet. I'm going to wait on Flame because I, I want to play these things. I'm going to do Thorns. Hmm. I think the last cards that I spent the wild cards on was a Cavalier of Thorns and I think that was like the very last one. Don't quite remember the ones right before that. I'm going to keep these in hand to be able to discard a Cavalier of Flames, put them in, in the graveyard. There'll be lands number five and six. And then also we'll draw two other cards. Oh, best three cards to spend wild cards on? Oh, that's, I don't know, kind of Im impossible to say. It, there are a lot of good cards in standard. And depending on what kind of deck you want to make and everything. Uh, you know, is where you'd want to go. Yeah, we got a, a pretty sweet uh, day on the schedule today. Chandra Tribal and Five Color Reborn. To get more wild cards, you just kind of have to open packs. Yeah, that's that's it. There's not a better option. Underestimate my fortitude. They're going to have to be chump blocking with these Risen Reefs. Kind of unfortunate. I guess I'm tapping the stomping ground to give the Cavalier haste. Be wary of the ground you walk on. I guess it's still, this is 11, perfect. Yeah, Cavalier Flame is sweet.
Okay. But what do we want to do with our sideboard? I'm not sure if we really do anything, honestly. I wonder what, like, I'm trying to think of, like, what their plan is for Cavalier of Flame. Like, are they playing Mass Manipulation? It's doubtful, right? Because their plan is just to kill Cavalier of Flame with damage with, you know, like, you know, Omnath or, you know, whatever. That's probably not going to be too good for them. Yeah, Shiv and Fire, Lava Coil, those are probably beneficial, but are they better than things that we got going on here? Not so convinced. I think Branch Walker may be my, my weakest card. Like, Branch Walker would be the one to replace with, like, Coil and Shiv and Fire. All right, we'll do that. Hey, what's up, Doom Waffle? Hmm. This hand's awesome if we draw a Cavalier. This hand is really awesome if we if we just have a Cavalier on top. Pretty good, like, no matter what we have, like, you know, having Cavalier, Nyssa, any of those things. It's like, if we don't draw a top end, though, you know, obviously this won't be good, but it has great, great mana. Nice. Spell Pierce and Small Teferi. There you go. Hmm. You know, our turn one and turn two is perfect. Oh, well, we're going to ship it. Okay, this is better. Good old London Mulligan. Uh, how do we pronounce this? I... 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 Hmm. I catch her me too? I catch her me too. Let's go with that. Thank you so much for that sub there. Maybe I'll we'll just go with 83. I caught your Metu. Oh, it's a C. Okay. I see a tree me too. Okay. I see a tree me too. Well, cool. Well, thank you so much for that support. I really appreciate that. Getting this day started off strong. All right, so Voracious Hydra can still fight um, a Risen Reef if they, if they have a Risen Reef. It's not like we used our only removal spell there. Ideally, they weren't going to play a Risen Reef, though, but... I didn't really need to, like, start... I didn't really need to, like, shiv and fire on my turn, though, in this matchup, I don't think. I think I could have just, you know, played Paradise Druid Pass with the red up. I probably could have done that. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, well, thank you so much for uh, the Twitch Prime sub and, you know, linking your Amazon account and everything. Absolutely. I mean, I yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, Amazon Prime subs are the same as 
the five dollar subs on my end. Uh, Amazon Prime subs do not, uh, if, if you're not too familiar with them, they do not renew ever, and so you you always have to manually renew them. Boom. That's a lot of good spells to put in the graveyard. I have a feeling we're gonna hit a land pocket here, but good thing we got we got a shuffle. Archer if we're gonna hit just one land though, Archer Varaska is kind of the, the land to hit. Hmm, Omnath? Yeah. I guess killing Lanamore off. Did they did they play a land first and then do that? No, that was just the, was that Yeah, I think they played their land first. It's unfortunate. I think they missed out on that counter they could have had. All right, need more lands. And just like I predicted, we drew the land. Beginning of a land pocket, so let's get a couple of those. Now, you know, next turn now, since our land where our elf died, this turn we can play the forest, turn on the Archeroska, gain the city's blessing, I, say, I guess. We can ascend. There we go. That's the way to say it. Yeah, if you have Amazon Prime, you can sub for free. You ha you have to first link your your Amazon and your Twitch accounts. Um, the way to do it is to go to just your Amazon Prime. Uh, like you know, go to Amazon.com, go to the Prime section, and just scroll all the way to the bottom. On the bottom right, like in the More Options, there's Twitch Prime. Link your Twitch and your Amazon, and then once you do that, then you get a free subscription. And then you get all the emotes and everything and get to throw out the hype boats whenever we get new subs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just do this right now. Hmm. We even shuffled and we're still getting that land pocket. Yep, so that's the thing to do if you have Amazon Prime. Okay. All right, now their Omnath is too big to attack into. Ooh, that's a good card. Three, six, nine. We'll go ahead and kick this fight with fire one more time. We got exactly nine mana. Perfect. And we are one and oh. GG's. All right, pretty nice game there. Hitting that Archer Roscoe was really nice. Just gave us that inevitability. Pretty nice hand here. I do say so myself. Hmm. I 
So next turn I can play the Hydra for two and fight the hero of Precinct One. Yep, there you go, Regley. Yeah, you can find the the deck list in there. Um, if you're if you're checking out the videos on the YouTube channel, also, whoops. In the description of all the YouTube um, videos, there's there's a link to the deck list. Yeah, I'll get that thing out of here. Of course, that is taking out my third red source for Cavalier Flames, but Hero Precinct 1, um, you know, just kind of goes crazy and starts making, like, extra 1-1s one all the time, and I think getting it, getting it out of there was useful enough. Um, hmm, yeah. If my opponent attacked with the hero there, I was going to be blocking with the two Llanowar Elves. I don't know if I needed to do that or not. Maybe I didn't. Play the Highlands, that is. Yeah, I probably did not. Yeah, I probably should have kept the Highlands in hand. I'm known for my excellent timing. All right, got. Got punished for playing the Highlands. All right, so I think I'll just bounce a forest here back to my hand at their end step. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Sorry, I'm late. The reason why I was saying, yeah, the reason why I was saying I, I was punished for playing the land was that Not I so didn't fast. have the land in my hand anymore to discard to the Cavalier Flame that got bounced. So Field of the Dead would be my fifth different land.
plan. All right, well, we got the Teferis out of there and the Hero Precinct 1. Living Twister doing its job. Yeah, the Flyers are going to be a problem. Yeah, they're going to be a problem. Stupid exile. Alright, well, I'm, di I'm ditching the twister. It's just do I want to dis ditch the land also? Yeah, we'll just ditch them both. So, of course, the Cavalier Thorns does have Reach, but they also have Removal. Those who cannot proceed beyond the way hone your prowess. Kept that card on top pretty quickly. It's a pretty neat party trick. So the, the Paradise Druids will trade with the, the other 1-1s one here. Let's get those out of there. Okay, they're not trading. They just want to do the damage to me. is how big are we making this thing? I guess four. Yeah, you know, certainly hoping they don't have removal here, of course. Because if they do, they win.
They're just in on Dispark. They don't get to Dispark it. Okay, good. No attacks. Don't want to die to a removal spell. If you show remorse, I'll show the strength. This might be a bad idea. Do I want to go to one? Then have this Hydra fight this one? No. Hmm. Wish I would have gone to one. <laughs> Get to minus Narset again. Well, maybe I should have just attacked the, the Narset twice. Just L2 to Narset to not let them minus again. I have just the trick for this. Uh, no, not really. Leafy. No, it's not set in stone. Slow this down. Trust me, I have a Interesting. Because they have the Thought Erasure, so you know, like, they you know, could bounce the Hydra and Thought Erasure it away, but they would rather do that to a Land War Elf. Interesting. Hardly my worst defeat. <laughs> the last two forest cards in my deck. Um, and yeah, I'll keep them in hand because if we draw a cavalier, we can turn them into other cards. Dang. We still had three other cavaliers in our deck. We'd only seen one so far. They finally found the Oath of Kaya, though, unfortunately. All right, let's get Vivian's, Veil of Summers, and Fry's in here. Well, we fought hard. We fought hard. This Voracious Hydra has been consistently very good for us. I want to trim down on mana creatures. I don't want to have that many. As we saw, we just were like sitting with just tons of mana creatures in our hand. Okay, just Mana War. Yeah, you can. I can switch those. No problem. I don't really have a, you know, a donation uh, price for that kind of thing. So I guess it's just whatever, whatever you feel is fair. Hey, the internet's treating me very good today, Alexis Bros. I was treating you very well also. I'm not sure exactly where I, what I want to take out, honestly. I think it's... I mean, I guess it's Paradise Druid, but that's going to make it harder to cast Cavalier of Flame. Four, eight, twelve, fourteen. 12, 14. I can't take out all of them. Alright, I'm going to cut Land War Elves, 
two Paradise Druids and one Nissus Triumph. Yep, I did. Yeah, I reset the router and everything today. Uh, it's going better today for sure, which is good. Hey, Necrolepsy. All right, got a green looking hand here. I like it. Thanks, Just Manowar. All right, yeah, we'll do. So we'll do Chandra Tribal up next, and then is it Dreams? Perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, the decks are already up on Stream Decker. With the Chandra Tribal, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna try. Uh, it's splashing blue for negate. I got negates in the board for that deck. Hey, Yager. Three mana, two, three isn't really winning too many games. Just hold on to the Hydra. This isn't a fight you can win. I'll protect you. Cool, thanks, Yager. So four mana four five. No. It's likely just going to get bounced by Teferi, but ooh, or not. I've got it. Oh, are they going to? Okay, no, it's not Kaya's Wrath. No, Nissa's Triumph doesn't uh, originally let you get Stomping Ground unless you, in, you know, you get only basic forests uh, at start. But if you have if you have a Nissa in play when you cast Nissa's Triumph, then you can get three of any land. So then, yeah, then you can go get Stomping Grounds or anything else. But originally, it's just basic forests. I've got time. I I don't know. Yeah, yesterday it was probably something wrong with like the the modem or router or something. So I, I just reset the router, you know, uh, basically, you know, unplugged it, let it, let it stay unplugged for a while and then plugged it back in kind of thing. And it is working a lot better today now. Seems like it was just one of those kind of days. I would like to Voracious Hydra kill the Hero Precinct 1. That's what I'd like to do with this turn here. But it's just... It's just, you know, certainly possible that they have, like, Tyrant Scorn and stuff, though. So I'll play it safer. Oh, man. Not a red source? I was definitely looking for a red source there. I like Cavalier Thorns quite a bit in this deck. And the Voracious Hydra. I like both of those cards quite a bit. We need to move quickly. Shiro Precinct 1 is so good. Wish we had some Chain Whirlers. I'm ready to play some Chain Whirlers up next with the Chandra Tribal.
cannot protect itself. Behold, nature's true power. Or at least let, that lets me finally get rid of this hero precinct one. But I am another turn away from playing the Cavalier of Flame. Time is much more malleable than people think. Hmm. Stop. Ugh. Time for a break. I don't even remember how I sideboarded in this matchup. How I sideboarded. Did I bring in fries? Someone kill this to fairy. Oh yeah, I have, a, I have a lot of Vela summers. Yeah, I forgot about that card. That card's cool. Yeah, I know I took out the mana creatures. I couldn't remember what I what I brought in, what our anti Esper cards were. This hero of precinct one has just been insane, though. Let's take it back. Well, by that one I mean you know both of them. It's been such a great card. And I needed more removal and. All right, Esper is pretty good. I mean, this is just lethal. All we have to do is tuck the Branch Walker, attack for seven. All right, one and one. Their deck works very well when they just have a couple Hero Precinct 1s, a couple Teferi of Hero Dominaria, and a whole bunch of good interaction. And, you know, stop at, like, exactly six lands the whole time like they did there. Pretty strong deck. And I'd say that that Esper Control deck maybe has something going for it. The whole have millions of forest and try to still cast Cavalier Flames bit is a little rough, though. Hmm. It's rude.
there's a good chance that we can wait on the Triumph until after we play Nyssa. Yeah, pretty, pretty perfect curve here. So that's seven mana. I think it costs eight to activate this thing, right? No, it costs seven. Never mind. Huh. It's rude. So Nyssa doubling the lands does help the Voracious Hydra, though. I would need eight mana for Voracious Hydra. I kind of need to play Nyssa. We will not fail. my patience yeah that was this has not been a, a bad game for our opponent I don't I don't imagine their deck ever having a better ga game than this basically Two, four, six, nine. I only need to do eight to play that. I guess I don't even really want to play the land war off though. Did they go grab Disfigure? Hmm. It's convenient. <laughs> well then. No, they probably grabbed Mirari Conjecture, probably. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to cast Nissa's Triumph first. Zero lands right now in the graveyard. Fight on without me. Hey, what's up, Chow? Thanks for that sub there. Our second sub of the day. Thank you very much. What kind of artifact hate do we have in our sideboard? Two Brontodon, two Vivian Reed.
I'm starting to really not like Brontodon in sideboards. I think it was a lot better, you know, a month ago, like last format. I'm just, I'm just replacing it with, um, I'm just replacing it with, uh, the elf reclamation sage all the time. This is just four mana versus three mana to kill stuff. I'm trying to make my deck a little better against Disfigure and Cry of the Carnarium, which my opponent is playing in droves. So, again, getting rid of Llanowar Elf and cutting a Paradise Druid. Yeah, I've had, you can, you can see over here, whenever there's a DD next to the deck, that means it's a donation deck. So this first one's a donation deck. The other three are not, so the, the other three are ones that I put together. <laughs> you got a hunch that Vivian Reed's not good against Immortal Sun? We'll see. We'll see if, if it is or not. Hey, Matthew. Yeah, we're going to be playing Golas in Five Color Reborn. Very good. No chromatic lantern, that's a good sign. I certainly want Vivian to kill an artifact whenever I play it. Or us have it protected with a Veil of Summer. Seen things that would break someone like you. So, in three turns, I can kick fight with fire. We'll see. We'll see if I can maybe wait a little bit before playing it. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? Balance comes. Going with the Jade Light Ranger because of the card advantage it provides. Or the over the Voracious Hydra. Uh, sure, I'll keep that on top though. 
We've not done a very good job of drawing red sources, you know, like... We saw that rugged highlands. If it was like an untapped red source, I probably would have taken it. Squirrels hit harder. Okay. Come to me. So that's our third Cavalier Flame. I don't know, these are both good. Awesome. Definitely a good card to find, the Veil of Summer there. I can also, I can put a counter on this Blast Zone here uh, to be able to blow up the treasure map. I, I definitely want to blow up this treasure map before it flips. So I, I would prefer to do that. I'd prefer not to play the Veil of Summer this turn. But of course, we, looks like we're gonna have to. Because otherwise, our Cavalier Flame and Vivian are gone. All right, well they'll be able to you flip the treasure map. Nature. That's life. Oh, right. That land comes into play tapped, huh? Well, that's awkward. What do I got here? I got six mana. All right, then just kicking fire with fire next turn should be able to end this, even if they find some pretty cool stuff here. Because, you know, they, they'll have the... I guess they have... They don't have four different colors of mana with Pilgrim. They only have, like, the three there. Okay. So didn't even... Didn't even have to show fight with fire. All right, let's try it again. Game three. <laughs> uh, Petty had it. Had it first. You have lantern decks. That's what we're going to finish up with. Five color reborn. I did take out one of the lanterns from the five color reborn deck. I'm only playing three. Thank you. 
If one's playing, you know, removal deck, should go a little slower. Treasure map early was Treasure Map and Chromatic Lantern. This is kinda of worst case scenario for me. Kinda of worst case scenario for me. Could have just gone blast zone here. Hmm. They should have just done blast zone last turn. They wouldn't have played the other treasure map though, of course. case scenario is exactly what happened this game treasure map lantern immortal sun that was, this was when we kept the hand that was the worst worst cards we could possibly see Yeah, we just have to draw our, our Brontodon. That's not very likely. I'm not playing Nissa for the passive ability because then that lets our guard down with Vela Summer. With us having a backup Nissa, could certainly be convinced that that's the wrong thing to be doing. Well, if they don't kill my... I mean, I'm assuming J Light Ranger's dead. Like, they just have, like, all their removal, you know, Cry the Carnarium, uh, disfigure everything. I can't really imagine that J Light Ranger survives here. I must go. All right, so we're at six lands right now. If I haste this thing, I don't get to have Veil of Summer up. What a strange and magnificent world. Uh, 
That's really bad news. At least that's their only activation this turn. I can certainly see them getting a Planeswalker removal spell. I, I sure hope not. Okay. All right, so we got four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got eleven mana. I mean, I'm definitely doing this. Got to kill that pilgrim. Good. Gives us our ninth land, so that even if you know, they get rid of Nissa, we'll have the nine lands. Um, you know, we're hoping for no more life gain from them. We're playing against Chromatic Black. They get in Banefire. They have 21 mana. Yep. We are just a little too slow. Their hands, like, you know, both those games they won, they had just such, such good hands. You know, like top, you know, 5% for that deck to be honest. And so we lost to a couple couple hands like that. I I probably should have just played my first Nissa with no protection and you know the second Nissa with one protection. I guess maybe I waited a little bit too long, I don't know. We definitely had the removal for the Nissas though. I think that the Nissas would have died if I would have done that. But our deck was pretty cool. It did it did kind of seem like like maybe we could use a little bit more top end stuff. I like I definitely like Cavalier of Thorns a lot. I think that I think maybe like the branch walkers aren't necessary in this deck. Well, maybe not. I don't know. We We do a really good job of ramping and getting lands into our hand, and I I feel like maybe we don't quite have enough payoffs for all the mana. I love the Hydra, I love the Cavalier of Thorns. Uh, Living Twister is pretty cool. Hey, what's up, Furious Fred? I could see getting a couple more Cavalier Thorns, though, because it's they're just... E like, Cavalier Thorns and the Flame, like, they work so well together because, you know, like, the Thorn um, helps helps you get your other red sources for the Flame and also uh, fills your graveyard. It puts more lands into your graveyard for the Flame also. And whenever you play Flame, having, like, seven mana and... Four red sources is kind of ideal so that you can play flame and activate uh, flame immediately. But, you know, that does require four red sources, which is pretty tough. That's a lot of red sources. So I could I could certainly see just getting a couple more Cavalier Thorns in this deck, um, you know, over, over like two Branch Walkers, for example, there. I did like the Nissa's Triumphs. I think like the... You know, even though we were getting two forests basically every single time, you know, that's still pretty strong. It's that's just divination for two mana, basically. You know, it's a two mana draw two. 
uh, even though like the two cards are basic forests, but we have good use for basic forests uh, with the deck. So the the triumphs were um, deceptively strong. I liked them quite a bit. Uh, hey, what's up, Dark Claw? Um, I, this isn't really a scape shift deck. I don't I don't think you need to play scape shift here. I think most of the time, the scape shift is like won't really be helping you. Um, as we saw there, maybe some more artifact and enchantment removal, you know, uh, that was kind of, kind of a random matchup that we had there though. But even, you know, if we're this deck playing against Nexus, for example, I think we'd struggle quite a bit there. So maybe we should just be playing Cinder Vines instead of Brontodons. Yeah, I, I would like Cinder Vines instead of Brontodons. And maybe maybe we don't need the Ripjaw Raptor either. Uh, that was one that we just kind of put in right before the league. Like, maybe we get some Cinder Vines up in here to help against Nexus and just random decks that want to play a lot of artifacts or enchantments like that other one. Um, I liked the, the Hydra. Yeah, the Hydra is a really strong card. It's very, very versatile. Um... It's kind of good all over the curve and everything. This is a really strong card. I like this card quite a bit. Yeah, Cinder Vines does help your fight with fire ping plan, and it and helps your Cavalier of Flame dying fl plan also. I don't know if there's like a realistic wit like card. I, I don't. I can't imagine. Like I can't think of anything right now. But maybe some kind of some kind of way to sacrifice Cavalier Flame for some value. And I'm not talking about playing something like Thud. I'm not not saying pl putting something like that in the deck. I'm saying like something, you know, it'd be like something more like a Vraska Golgari Queen, but, you know, something that's a really good card that just has like a sacrifice thing. I don't know what that would be in Gruul. Um... Not a big fan of Red Leyline, honestly. But it's an option. But there we go, pretty cool deck here. Okay, yeah, you, you did look for that. There wasn't anything besides Thud, really, so, okay, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I think trying some Cinder Vines, um, and then maybe, and definitely at least one more, and maybe two more Cavalier Thorns. Certainly would want three, and maybe four of this Cavalier. While Living Twister was like, you know, we got to do some kind of cool stuff with Living Twister that one game, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the card overall. I think you could you could maybe just go to one Living Twister, I don't know if you need a second. That could be a Cavalier of Thorns. I, I would rather have a, a third Cavalier of Thorns over the second Living Twister. For example, there, and then maybe like one branch walker for the like yeah, so take out like one branch walker, one living twister for two cavalier thorns. I would like that. It just kind of does everything that our deck wants to do. And it's also just a huge body that just blocks really well, helps us stabilize, uh, gets us to fight with fire. It you know, it helps out Hydra, Cavalier Flame. It just kind of does everything we want we want. It's a very good card. Um, and it also it also helps reward us for playing like these random one of lands that we could um, go find. I don't I didn't like Field of Dead Field of the Dead. I don't I don't like this card to be honest. Like that, yeah. Not only does it enter tapped, but that ability is basically never going to matter. I would I would much rather have Mobilized District um, instead of Field of, of the Dead because I I could certainly you know, like Mobilized District is a pretty strong card. It, it I think that will help out in a lot more games of having like the the random creature that can attack and just like hit a planeswalker after they minus you know like they play a teferi and minus then we go activate this district to finish it off or things like that i think that has a lot more utility and then yeah if you had like four thorns one of those one of those or if if you want you could go three thorns three hydra i really liked the hydra the hydra was nice
So maybe something like that. Um, and then, yeah, either a Thorns or a Hydra. Either way. Thorns is pretty awesome. But a cool deck here. Cool deck. So there you go. So thanks, Julius. Thanks for this donation deck. Um, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the deck as well. Uh, but that's it for Gruel Flame here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.